Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lisa here. Y'all know I like my ink pens. <laughs> good morning, Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3, and here is God's strength for you this day. Today is a sinus headache day, but you know what? I'm hanging on a string, but you know I'm still hanging. That's the good thing. Hebrews 4 and 14. Let's go. We're going to do 14, 15, and 16 this morning. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through heavens, Jesus, the Son of Christ, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to him in time of need. <laughs> My grandma, uh, they used to sing a song. In times like these, we need a savior. In times like these, we need a Whatever the answer is, ah, be very sure, be very sure your anchor holds and drifts to solid rock. And when someone is drifting, they're holding on. Holding on, when you are drifting in a in the sea or ocean, you're holding on for dear life. And in the scripture, I was thinking about how he said that we are to hold fast to our confession. Hold fast to that thing, that faith. When you confess and you believe, you hold fast to that. I say when we are holding on to a string, there's another song that said, you got me holding on a string. If you're just holding on to the string, that means you're still holding. You haven't fallen off. Believing that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, We'll sympathize. Y'all know sometimes we as humans don't always sympathize with people. We don't empathize and we don't have compassion. But the compassions of the Lord fails not. And through him taking on our sins, he was tempted on every side, just like some of us are. I'm not going to say some of us, all of us are tempted on every side. But he sinned not. He has sympathy and grace and mercy for everything you are still holding and believing God for. The thing is, do not lose your grip. That's our strength today. Do not lose your grip on your faith and your convictions and your confessions. Do not lose grip. Do not lose hope. Because God has already gone through everything that you're going through right now. God, Jesus Christ has already gone through it. And he came out clean on the other side. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Interceding for that thing that he has sympathy for, for you. Today's strength. Do not lose your grip. Do not lose your grip. Mm. This has been Lisa with Lisa 6 and 3. You go make it a wonderful, wonderful day. You share this word with someone who may be losing their grip right now, this moment. Mm. Go make it a wonderful day. And I will see you in the morning. Be blessed.